Well, the good news is that uh, global trade is starting to improve. So we've had 18 months where global trade has underperformed global growth. And once global trade starts to pick up, that's normally very good for the Asian equity asset class. So we do actually expect uh, Asian equities to do reasonably well. Uh, the dip biggest difficulty for us is that there's going to be a split with North Asia doing actually much better than Southeast Asia. So on an equally weighted basis, we would say that the markets are probably do fairly well. Uh, but again, Again, very, very polarized in terms of their performance. Well, we do like the cyclical trade at the moment. So we've liked the transport, some of the IT, IT stocks, and also some of the material stocks. So that again, once again, favors the North Asian equity markets because uh, they are actually much more operationally leveraged and they tend to benefit as we see global replenishment of infant, uh, of infant trees. Uh, so we, do, we are optimistic on the more cyclical parts of the Asian equity markets, and that's consistent with our view about global trade rebounding. Well, we tend to be more towards the uh, March view. Uh, the reason for that is that you still have uh, the fiscal ceiling debate that, that's carrying on through the US into the early part of next year. Uh, retail sales numbers at the moment are a little bit muddled. Uh, and we also, as I said, may, there may still be some uncertainty over the actual uh, uh, condition of the, um, uh, the jobs market. So a more uh, sort of first quarter uh, tapering is more, more likely to be on the table in our view. Well, certainly uh, money market funds have not necessarily been the most favoured asset class over the last 12 to 18 months. Um, the irony may be is that the forward guidance that the Fed starts to offer, which is consistent with what we've seen with the Bank of England, may still work against the money market fund managers through 2014. So we don't see really any rebound in money market funds uh, in terms of their assets over the next 12 months. Well, we've actually uh, continued to like uh, the Taiwan um, um, hardware and uh, electro electronics sector. Uh, we think it's been largely disowned by investors. IT hardware has become a value um, a, a, a part of the equity market, which has got good dividend yields, fairly good operating leverage, and the companies are not very well owned. So if indeed we, we're right about the sort of capex um, enterprise spending theme in the United States, uh, then it actually would actually benefit some of those Taiwan IT hardware stocks.